How many counts are we taking this? Uh, I think like eight. <laughs> <laughs> Last Chance Dance has always been a really fun, high energy type of concert. It's one of our more informal concerts, just something that the dancers have been working on for a couple months. They're still maybe kind of working through some ideas and it's not the final finished product like we see with costumes and lights. Many students get to choreograph. It gives them a chance to develop a work and to teach their peers and create a whole concept and choose music and work through their ideas and their inspirations. So Mary Alex and I danced together like the whole time we've been at Baylor. Mm -hmm. And to me, dance is really like a friendship. And it's been something where I've gotten to know Mary Alex where I probably wouldn't have otherwise. Oh. And we've like been dancing the whole time we've been at Baylor. Miss Shanley. I remember when she first came. We were scared. We were all really scared because she was serious. Yeah, she was serious about dance. And we were like, are you ready for modern class? Like, I you know, had to like, like really walk nervous. in, no one could say anything. We all like sat down in our spots. We started the warm up. I had never been taught by a person that was so serious. And I took that seriousness as her being mean. And I think that kind of goes for everybody in the dance group. The spring of my freshman year, I was looking for music and found the spoken word poem. It basically like teaches the message that I was okay just the way I was and that I didn't need to change for anybody or to reach any societal norm. And I immediately started choreographing. The process of creating a dance is not easy. And sometimes you create something, you set it on people and you try and try and try and you have to just say, this is not working. We have to start over. When I'm choreographing, it's frustrating at times, especially teaching people that were older than me, I found really intimidating. You have a lot of ideas that you want to incorporate into something, but you don't necessarily know how to make it go together. There's so many things I want to do, but if I speed it up, then it's not on the right cue, and if I slow it down, then it might not go with the music as well. So I think just incorporating all your ideas is difficult. One, two, three, hit, four. Yes. Five, Ms. Shanley, yeah. she had yeah. this way of yeah. helping me figure out what I wanted to do without doing it for me. So she would give yes. me like a little Great. snippet of an idea and then I would just run with it. Yes, you did amazing. I mean, I know you've been out. Yeah. But the quality that you just performed was gorgeous. So. My favorite memories are when I'll come in and I'm like ready to go and ready to teach and then everybody's like on the floor dying from school. Like, you know, they're stressed, they're tired, they're grumpy or whatever. And then to say, okay, I see you, I know we're tired but let's get up, let's just start moving. Let's just leave all that stuff at the door. Let's just start moving and, and see if we can start feeling better. And then an hour later, they're all dancing fully and with great expression and sweating and like, they're really in it and they've left that stuff behind, even if it's just for an hour. I was scared of Miss Shanley when she first came in, but as time went on, I kind of realized her being hard on us was because she truly wanted the best for us. After my dance, Miss Shanley, we were all talking about my concept and everything. And she told me that my dance inspired her and that it was a very moving piece. And that meant the world to me because I look up to her as a person as a, and as a dance teacher so much. That meant the world to me coming from her. The audience stop and they're like, oh, dang. Like, okay. it's powerful. You know, when you give them a minute to like, Okay, to digest everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I definitely feel a very strong connection to this piece. Like, this moves me. This inspires me, personally. So I can only imagine how it's going to affect the 250 people that are coming to see the show, you know? And I, I'm sure it moves your dancers, too, because they feel it. They're mm -hmm. really working through it, so. Thank you so much. Beautiful. I think my piece is going along really, really well. I think that it's a harder piece to dance and it's really um, like an emotional piece to dance and so I think that everyone's getting the moves down pretty well but we still have to work on the 
emotional side of it. Going into Last Chance Dance with my piece, I think I was more excited than anything. So I woke up and it was a Saturday. We went to go across the floor with Miss Shanley. And she was like, just so you guys know, this is the last time you're gonna be dancing across the floor with me, so make it count. And I just started bawling crying, like the ugly crying you do in your room at 2 a.m. That's what I just started doing in front of everybody. It was very painful to come to the realization that I have a two-year-old girl, I have you know, a very small window of time that she's gonna be little and I can be there for her and with her every day and not have to juggle a full-time teaching schedule. Dear dancers, after this current school year, I will be taking some time off from my regular teaching schedule. It has been an absolute joy to teach all of you over the years. Please know that you will be in my thoughts and in my heart all the time. It would be great to stay in touch with you and continue to hear about your progress in and out of the studio. Thank you for all your beautiful dancing and for being the best students a teacher could ask for. Much love, Miss Shanley. We got to dance, not for ourselves. We each had our own meaning of what the dance meant to us. She took the time to sit down and have a conversation with us, not just about dance, but about how to live, how to be a better person, and how to love who you are. Whenever I first came to Baylor, I did not say a word to anybody. So I like to think of dance as an outlet. And for me in particular, I have a really hard time communicating how I feel through words. So being able to do that through movement, I think is really special. I wish I could do it all. I wish I could be here every day. Because um, I love the kids. Time is limited. We cannot hold back our feelings. We can't hold back our words. Every day you have an opportunity to make an impact on somebody. And so if I can let them know I've been there, sometimes we don't even have to talk. <laughs> you know, I can just, I can see you, I can sense your energy. We need those human connections in our lives. All of those things that go into dance gave us the tools that we needed to be successful in life. Oh wait, can I tell her one more thing? I think you're gonna be a great mom, Miss Shanley. That's oh, what I would tell too. her. Her daughter is the cutest little yes. thing. And I just, she's gonna be the best mom ever. And she's I'm so jealous of Lillian because she I gets know. a really cool mom. She does. <laughs> she okay. is the best mom. All right. <laughs>